Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007, and today we're looking at the Simple Portals plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to create these portals really easily. There's some really cool features, and let's just get started with it. So I've got a couple of examples around here. So if I were to go into either of the green portals, we will be teleported to this spot here. And if I go into the mini green portal, we'll be teleported to the same place. So it doesn't matter which direction you enter in, you'll be facing the same direction that you enter the portal when you go to the point. And then we have a blue portal here. Now this is a cool shape, and if we go inside it, you'll notice that it will turn to nighttime. Why is that? Well, I've attached a command to it that allows uh, to run the command when the player goes through it. And as you can see, this red portal, you can enter from either side, and that's gonna set it to day. And then this other blue portal would teleport us to a different server, such as a lobby server or factions, but obviously I don't have that set up, so it just teleports us in front of it. So those are a few examples that we can have, and here we can create some of our own. So first of all, we can do four slash portals to see all the commands, and then what we're going to want to do is do portals SM to select the area, so left click the top corner, right click the bottom corner. We can turn that off. And then we can do forward slash portals create and then give it a name let's just call it test one for example now we've done that you can see the inside is highlighted and if we go inside it we'll be teleported on top why is that because we haven't set a location to be teleported to yet so if we want to do that we can go wherever we want it to teleport us to so here for example and then if we do forward slash portals sl for set location and then test one and that's going to set the location and if we go through the portal now we are going to be teleported to this location so it's as easy as that to create your own portal and there's a couple of things you can do to customize it so if we were to do four slash portals and then sr followed by test one that will show the region that it's selected so just the six inside blocks and then if we do four slash portals fill test one and lava or water it will fill the inside of the portal with a fluid, whatever you want, and it's not gonna spill over the edges, which is cool. So then if we bring up the selection mode again for the second portal, select it and then create it, let's just call it test two, for example, uh, we can create a brand new portal, as you can see, uh, inside we've got kind of a star diamond shape. And then if we do four slash portals, fill test two with water, you can see this one has been filled with water. And what we can do is do portals SS, which means switch server, test two, and it will go to server lobby. So imagine if we did have another server for the lobby, uh, this portal would take us there, which is pretty awesome. So that is how you would set that up. And if you want to add a command to your uh, portal, all you need to do is portals add CMD, test one, and then the command, so we could do night for example, and then a colon followed by either player or console. So we're gonna have the console run this command, and if we hit enter and then go through this portal, it will set it to nighttime. There we go, as simple as that. And obviously if you do portals help, you can see all of the different commands. You can click next page in the chat, which is pretty awesome, or previous page. And this will just give you a long list of all the different commands. So if you want to get rid of the commands, you can do portals, clear CMDs, test one, and then obviously it's going to clear all of the commands we set for it. And if we jump in the portal, it's no longer going to set us to nighttime. So here we are on the spigot page, and as you can see, it's updated to the latest version of Minecraft 1.14.4. And as you can see, there are loads of different features. Here are all the commands and permissions. And then if you need any help, obviously you can contact the developer on either Discord, email, or Spigot. And if you want to have a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. If you want to check out other tutorials, link in the description. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.